Hi there, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Project Camper, welcome back to part two of basic simple electrics. If you haven't seen part one, then I'll put a link in the description and a card up here. It's going to be full of useful information for people who know nothing about electrics. So you can see from here, <coughs> we have our two LED lights, our fuse box, two USB sockets, connected to a fuse box, connected to a positive bus bar, connected to a negative bus bar, connected to a breaker, and down here we have one of the best batteries on the market in the UK, if not the world, Fogstar. I want to give a massive shout out to Fogstar. They are, along with 12 Volt Planet, sponsoring the video. These batteries are absolutely first class. It says 460 amps. I've yet to go onto the BMS, but it'll probably be a lot more than that. I have a 628 amp power Fogstar lithium battery and it actually produces 654 amp hours. Truly stunning, absolutely amazing. They come with a warranty, they come with Bluetooth, they come with a heater, and a 250 amp hour BMS. These really are fit and forget. And that can be said exactly with Victron stuff. Over the years, I've gone down the route of using eBay Chinese stuff, uh, and then gone to uh, Renergy, um, and then I've basically just gone straight into Victron. It all connects perfect. There's a VRM. The world is your oyster with this stuff. You can use Home Assist. There's, it's just endless possibilities. And also you can keep it simple. And that's what we're gonna to do today. So today we are gonna fit a 75 volt 10 amp, and this is for demonstration purposes, uh, MPPPT. And this is a smart device. So it will then connect to the app. Um, along with the Orion DC to DC charger. They, you can create a network and they all talk to each other. That's the beauty of these products. Anyway, 75 times 10, this would be completely fine for a 145 watt solar panel. Any more than that, then you'll have to go the next size up, which will be a 15, a 20, so forth. So you need to size these for your solar panel that you have purchased or are going to purchase. So anyway, for demonstration purposes, we are gonna mount this here, and then we're gonna have a breaker. Now there's two types of breaker. So for a large array that you need to disconnect because whenever you do anything to your system, you need to disconnect the solar first, period. If you don't disconnect the solar first, all the energy goes straight into the battery, which is not great. So for a large array, this is from 12 Art Planet, it's quite a big bit of kit, but this is a proper, proper switch. For a smaller array, then you can use a Blue Sea Breaker. All these products are available from 12 Art Planet, and I'll leave their link in the description downstairs. So today we are gonna fit the MPPT, which we're going to put here, and then a breaker, and then the cables will then just go to the solar panel. But that, that, there is an important issue there. So I'll get to that when we fix up the MPPT. Next off, we have the DC to DC charger. Now this takes voltage from your vehicle battery and puts it into usable power to charge up your leisure battery. This can do a wet battery, i.e. lead acid, AGM, and it also does lithium. In the app, you just change the settings. Um, there's loads and loads of videos on how to do that, but it is so self-explanatory, it's, it's so easy. And this is what the great thing about Victron stuff is. It's so easy to reuse straight out of the box. So anyway, what do we have in the box? First of all, 
you have your product information. In the little pouch here, it gives you all the information about your particular product, i.e. the MPPT. This one here, because this is a sponsored video, I actually asked for the lowest specification because obviously I don't want to cost them money. So this is an 18 amp. So as you can see here, it's 12, 12, 18. So it's 12 volts to 12 volts at 18 amps. So when you're driving, this will charge your battery at a constant 18 amps. They do do a 30 amp, and then we do now have the brand spanking new Victron XSs, uh, and they are 50 amps. Now, if you do have the budget, I much, I do really, really recommend the 50 amp. These do get quite warm, uh, so be wary of that. If you're going to put them in somewhere that's uh, like enclosed, they will get hot and they do need ventilation. In past, you can see videos that people have made like fans to like blow up or blow away. But yeah, so to be fair, you'll have to size up according to your battery. I mean, this is all for demonstration purposes, so it's not really matched. To charge up this uh, 460 amp hour battery, if you divide that by 18, that will give you the hours. So it's gonna be quite a lot of hours to charge up this battery. But as I say, this is for demonstration purposes. You'll need to match your DC to DC charger with your battery. Right, I'm gonna put my goggles on for this. So, let's take out our MPPT. And we are gonna mount this here. Now obviously, this is, like I say, for demonstration purposes. So you're gonna, you'll probably wanna keep all this together. Nice and neat, on a board, drill some holes, the wires can go behind, keep them nice and tidy. I also recommend using ferrules. Some people say they don't like ferrules, some people say they, they do, but for me, I much prefer ferrules. Like in the last video, like I showed you how to crimp them. So, positive which is going to go to the battery, it's all clearly marked. Absolutely all clearly marked. So we are going to use the battery and the PV terminals. We're going to forget about the load. So we're going to connect the positive, and screw down just so it nips it up. Don't over tighten them. They do have a torque rating and the negative side. Always do the battery first. Don't do the solar first. And I'll explain why in a minute. I'll go into a little bit more detail. So, positive and the negative. They aren't going anywhere. Right, so I'm now gonna connect this here. Oh, I've got some screws and then I'll mount the MPPT. So I'm going to use an extension because I don't want to scratch the box. Hopefully this looks about straight. Already have terminals on the end. These are just ring terminals and where I can connect it to the fuse box and the negative bus bar first. So let's take the cover off. So we're just going to tidy these wires up. Okay, so let's undo the bus bar. And we need a fuse. Okay, so we have our fuse. So undo the fuse nuts. Don't forget the fuse is only there to protect the wiring. So we've removed the nut, the washer, 
and the lock washer and replace. So washer, lock washer and nut and tighten. And the same for the positive washer, lock washer and nut. And we will do the same for the negative. And we do this in this order. So the negative we go on. And we should have connected it properly a blue flashing light. There you go. So that is your MPPT all wired in negative and positive. We can now connect the smart solar with our smartphone and download the Victor Energy Smart App. And we will see all the data for the solar charger. It's gonna replace the covers, so there's no danger of any misdemeanors. Okay, so this is the most important part. Okay, so we're now gonna fit our breaker for the positive side of the solar cable. Okay, this part is very important. From here to here is just a normal positive cable. You can choose to just cut off what you have coming through and use the solar cable. Okay, so we're now going to connect our positive side to the positive side of the PV. Notice that we don't have any solar panel connected, so there's no danger of any input. Okay, so here we go. And there we have it. Okay, so the negative side and the positive side. Now this bit of information I'm gonna give you now is quite vital. Okay, from your solar panel, you will have a set of MC4 connectors. Now, on the solar panel, this will be the positive side. Okay, so it's scripted by a red ring terminal and the, the, the male end. The female end, okay, is the negative side. So if you're gonna put a positive into a negative, you are now gonna think that this is the negative side. So what you have to do, okay, is make sure the negative side is connected to the positive side of the MPPT. So this side is a positive into the MPPT, okay? So when you plug the positive side in, the positive side carries on, and vice versa for the negative, the positive which are this side, because this is now the negative, will go to the negative side. That's very important because if you were to wire it up exactly the same, for one, they don't go into each other. Also, if this is the positive side and it says negative on here and you connect it to the negative side, you're gonna have a problem. So that's very important, okay? So it's a good idea because these cables normally come in black only, is to do them individually, okay? So you now know that this is the positive side, okay? And on the end, put a bit of red heat shrink. So when you go through the van, you know that when you connect 
to this one, like so. At the end of this would be a red piece of heat shrink, which would then go into the positive. So I hope you, uh, you know, if, ho hopefully you write that down because it's very, very important. Because I mean, I've seen quite a lot of people, ah, why is my MPT not working? Or it's actually just started to fizz and yeah, that's the end of that. So that is very, very important. Anyway, so imagine that you, we now have our negative side, okay, and positive side. So, as I said, this one would be then go to here, like so. So then you plug in the positive side of the solar panel. And then obviously the remaining cable, you can just route in to your negative side of your MPPT. Okay, so here we have our solar set up. Positive side comes in, and we have put a bit of red heat shrink on there, so you can't confuse which way round. Comes into the breaker bar, out of the breaker bar, into the positive side of the PV terminal. Negative, all the way to the negative side of the PV terminal. Output to the battery, positive side, go into the positive side of our bus bar, fused. The negative side, go into the negative side of the bus bar. And then obviously the bus bar is connected to the battery. So that is your solar sorted. Okay, in next week's video, I'm going to show you how to wire in your DC to DC charger. Now this takes power from your vehicle battery via your alternator and this will convert it into 12 volts, back into 12 volts at 18 amps and charge your leisure battery. This one is the isolated DC to DC charger. This is for motorhomes that are normally made from fiberglass. So you would have positive and negative coming from your battery and then the output would be positive and negative to your leisure system, i.e. negative bus bar, positive bus bar. So there's two types. You need to pick the which one is for yourself. So for argument's sake, you've got like a van, it's a panel van, like my Sprinter, then have a non-isolated. So you just have three cables, one from the battery, one to the negative side of the bus bar, and then the output would then also go to the positive side of the bus bar, which would then charge your battery out. So next week's, I'll show you how to wiring a DC to DC charger. It's two types. So anyway, Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click on subscribe. If you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. I'll see you next week. Bye.